everyone. Welcome to Poland with Ella. I'm Ella and I'll be your guide through the most beautiful and interesting places in Poland, as well as the Polish history, culture and traditions. Today I will be showing you around Zalipie, which is a beautiful village near Tarnów in the Lesser Poland Voivodeship. It's very cheerful and colorful thanks to houses painted with floral patterns. But before we go there, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. From outside, this village looks like any other in Poland. But make sure you don't miss it because it's got real treasures hidden in it. Zalipie decorations were known since over a century ago and the tradition of painting houses has survived to this day. It all started simply. The local women wanted to keep their cottages clean. Painting of soot was their way to decorate the rooms where livestock lived next to people. Initially, young girls observing each other made the so-called patches. They used the soot dissolved in milk. Later on, they started painting the foundation of the house, still visible above the ground, which was also very dirty. But here, women reserved the order of colors, whitened them with dissolved soot and stamped them with a brush dipped in lime. This method of beautifying the farmstead continued for many years and changed only after World War II, when brick houses began to replace wooden ones, and huge stoves for cooking, baking bread and sleeping on disappeared from the rooms. In the first decade of the 20th century, girls from Zalipie began to use boldly composed patterns dominated with flowers and swirls. These patterns were always individual and depended on the idea and the manual skills of the folk artist, but what is very important, they were always painted by hand, without the use of templates. And that's also the case today. Throughout the years, the Zalipi women began to decorate not only walls and wall hangings, but also modest home appliances, furniture and even clothing. This beautiful custom was also adopted in other nearby villages, like Borusova and Podlipie. These paintings, however, were not very durable. They often faded and chipped in the ever-changing Polish weather and inside from the steam of the ovens. There is one woman in Zalipie who is especially remembered. Her name was Felicia Curyłowa. And apart from her obvious talent, she also had perseverance and grit, which helped the customs of painting houses in Zalipie survive and flourish. For many years, Felicia Curyłowa was the boss of the painters and an intermediary between them and the communist authorities. It is through her persistent efforts, for example, that Zalipie was one of the first villages in Poland to have electricity. On the initiative of Felicia Curyłowa, the construction of the painter's house in Zalipie began. A place where artists met, shared their experiences, a place that would prove that their creative work is important. Nowadays, various cultural activities flourish there and painters decorate large amounts of objects for tourists to buy. And Felicia Curyłowa's homestead, as well as those of her family members, serve as a museum. Many buildings are being repainted regularly, among them the parish church of St. Joseph in Zalipie. The tradition of painting is passed down from generation to generation. There is a painted cottage competition organized there every year. In the spring of each year, artists entering the competition paint their homes from scratch and the visiting committee evaluates them and awards cash prizes for artistic impressions, workload, innovation and originality. There are homes where grandmothers, mothers 
and their grandchildren take part in this competition together. Of course, not all Zalipia is covered with fancy flowers. Painted farmsteads are scattered throughout the vast village. Nevertheless, when walking through its roads and paths, it's impossible not to notice the painted houses surrounded by the natural greenery. That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the tour of Zalipie. Make sure you subscribe not to miss any of the next episodes.